Yes. Oh, you didn't think you could punch it? <laughs> you wanted to punch so me. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, I bet she does. <laughs> Alright, so, friend Fro, what I want you to do right now is I want you to think of someone who makes you angry besides me. Okay, or you can just think of it. Alright, okay, so, I know that was good. Cool. I'm just kidding. Okay, alright, so guys, think of something that's made you angry. Or Ooh, I got a good one. Or something. Oh, and I want you to take it out on these bags real quick. Okay? Well, focus can't get on it. these bags and not on my face. Okay, right, let's be constructive. Well. Yeah. He does do well. Okay, go. out here in the wind tunnel. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a human emotion. Everyone gets angry. Like, it's completely normal. Like, you have a right to get angry at things. And you shouldn't feel bad about it because everyone does it. Everyone might, like, you get angry. Like, depending on the pers personality or whatever, like, it happens. It's a completely normal thing. So, how many people, how many times have you been, like, told uh, not to get angry by, like, a parent, like, a coach, like, a coach? I, I get it a lot or like an authority figure like you hear all the time, right? So that's technically like not very healthy and you shouldn't really do that. Even if someone's trying to like convince you that you shouldn't get angry, like even if you don't express it, it doesn't mean that it goes away. So it's still there. It's just inside. You just don't, don't express it like verbally or physically. So you shouldn't do that because that uh, stays inside and it might cause like some health issues like Depression, anxiety, uh, guilt. I know some. I, I've had some friends that my dad's like have dealt with it with uh, drinking. Like they get really angry. They try to get over it by drinking, and like might cause to like for them to turn to alcoholics and stuff. And then overeating. I know like pers personally, my brother, my younger brother, he get angry and he start eating a lot. And it caused it for some health issues, and like it, it like affected him, and he wasn't able to play high school sports because he was like he had health issues because he ate too much, and like it caused him high blood pressure, and they didn't play for that, so he wasn't able to play high school sports. So the question isn't is anger acceptable? It's how can I express anger in a constructive way? So that takes us to step two, which is dealing with anger. Uh, you, these are a couple of things that you might be able to deal with anger in a constructive way. So the first one is taking responsibility. Take responsibility for your own actions. Take responsibility for being angry. No one can control your emotions. That's that's all you. So take take responsibility for it, and that might help you out. Don't blame it on somebody else because if you're your own person, you can control it. Uh, the next one is. Express it at the time. So when it happens, express it at that moment. Don't keep it in. They use the term do. So you keep it in and it builds up and it just blows up. And it's probably not even on the person that caused you that anger. Like it might like start a problem with somebody else that had nothing to do with it. Just because you kept it in and it built it built up and made the situation way worse than when it started. And you could have just taken care of it and it been a small thing and just got it over with. Um, expressing a non-blaming way basically is 
talk to the person. Tell them the reason why you got angry. Uh, ask them in a nice manner, not in a, a bad tone of voice or something. So the example they gave is the reason why I got angry was because I feel like you don't respect me. So that's like in a nice manner, and it, make, and it gives the other person a chance to like think about what they've done, and like uh, so they won't do it again, maybe, or that they apologize for it, it makes you feel better. So, uh, and then the final one is a physical activity. A physical activity, so basically, like, you should punch the bags or whatever. Uh, some people go into gyms, they hit, uh, like, the punchy bag you saw. I know some people that have done that. I do it, I do it at soccer. I th that's how I take out my anger, because soccer is, is a bit of a contact sport, so it, it helps me release all that anger that I might not have, like, I've gotten angry, like, for certain situations and things like that, like, and maybe, like, the day before or something, but I've been holding it. So, some people run, I know some people weight lift, some other examples they gave was, like, shredding paper, or even screaming into a pillow, like, like as loud as you can. So that's uh, the So below your your outline, I want y'all to answer these three questions and at the end. We'll kind of share them and maybe give, give each other feedback on different things we might be able to do. So, and if you don't want to share them, then that's fine. But uh, so the, the first one, uh, write three things that make you angry. Especially when it's not mine and when people drag me into their problems, it just makes me really angry. I don't like when people lie to me and then I find out about it or if they lie like to my face. That's 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 a big one for me. And then the third one I would say I don't like when people touch my face. It's it's like a really I don't know what it is. I think it's like I've been slapped too many times by my mom or something and <laughs> as a kid and I, I deserved it, I'm sure I did. But uh, yeah, I don't know, that's just like a big pet peeve for me. And it, it makes me really angry. So uh, uh, the things I do when I get angry, I usually don't do anything. And by reading up on this, that's usually, I know that that's not the healthiest thing to do now. But yeah, that's what I usually do, and I kind of keep it in. And I shouldn't do that, I shouldn't do that. Anyway. But the thing is, the way I deal with it is I deal with it. I, I do soccer, I play soccer, and I kind of take it out on the field. So that helps me release some of that anger and doesn't have to deal with it anymore. So that's the only thing. Uh, do any of y'all want to share y'all's? Um, the things that I said that made me mad, I said drama too. Um, and then like people that just, like don't put the effort into like certain things. Yeah. Um, like into like work and stuff. And then like people that don't follow the rules like kind of like, I don't know, because a lot of things, like when people break the rules, it's kind of like, they're kind of rude about it, like, I don't know, um, and then the way that I deal with it is I just kind of like ignore the situation and like try to just move past it without talking to the person and it eventually just like builds up and I just like blow up on them after like a small thing that wasn't even a big deal, um, 
And then what was the third question? Uh, well, the, what, the second one was, what do you do? And then the third one is, uh, what, what can you do? Oh, to oh. I said I, sh I could, like, go and talk to the person early on, and, like, before it, before I get, like, angry or anything. And then a lot of times if I'm, like, mad at someone or frustrated, I just go run. Uh, when I just put, like I don't know, um, like when kids, I see kids being disrespectful and looking at how they make it. Um, when people don't give me very short notice, and well, the other one is kind of a recent thing that happened. It was um, a guy that was um, under the influence of drugs um, hit my parents' head on, and and then he tried to get away. Like, he didn't really care about what he did. And so, like, so that kind of made me angry. But, um, so when I'm angry, I just kind of um, internalize um, and try to move on. And, and, like, a lot of times when I'm angry, I just cry. <laughs> and, um, to be constructive, sometimes I talk about it, sometimes I, or, like, it, or, you know, like, I don't talk about it. But I should talk about it, and um, like I could also run or kind of punch him. That's great. Mm -hmm. um, like I know not everything's gonna be fair, to be realistic. But like when I'm around unfairness and it's very known to the group, and selfishness and choosing to be oblivious, like choosing to be immature about something, and. Um, what I do, I usually mention it now. I never used to, but now I do. Or I ignore it um, when I think I'm being too overly, I don't know, too overreacting. And what I said I could do is just like approach it in a calm manner and be understanding. You can also be assertive because I think you can be assertive. So that's a good thing. So, Mr. you want to share? Well, I, I usually hold it in and get depressed. Uh -huh. So I have to express it. I have to say it to somebody and find somebody I feel safe to talk to. And then I run. And that's the best medicine I've found that works for me. Okay, guys. Cool.